A judge in a rural Kentucky county was shot and killed in his courthouse chambers Thursday, and the local sheriff was charged with murder in the slaying, police said. The preliminary investigation indicates Letcher County Sheriff Sean M. Steins shot District Judge Kevin Mullins multiple times following an argument inside the courthouse, according to Kentucky State Police. Mullins, who held the judgeship for 15 years, died at the scene, and Steins surrendered without incident. The fatal shooting in Whitesburg sent shock waves through a tight-knit Appalachian town and county seat of government with about 1,700 residents located about 145 miles southeast of Lexington. Mullins, 54, was hit multiple times in the shooting, Kentucky State Police said. Steins, 43, was charged with one count of first-degree murder. The investigation is continuing, police said. It was unclear whether Steins had an attorney. Kentucky State Police referred inquires about Steins' legal representation Thursday to a spokesperson who did not immediately respond by email. Mullen served as a district judge in Letcher County since he was appointed by former Governor Steve Bashir in 2009 and elected the following year. Mullins was known for promoting substance abuse treatment for people involved in the justice system and helped hundreds of residents enter inpatient residential treatment, according to a program for a drug summit he spoke at in 2022. He also helped develop a program called Addiction Recovery Care to offer peer support services in the courthouse. The program was adopted in at least 50 counties in Kentucky. Mullins also served as a founding member of the Responsive Effort to Support Treatment in Opioid Recovery Efforts Leadership Team. Sheriff uh, Mickey Sean Steins um, fired at District Judge Kevin Mullins following an argument inside the courthouse. The details I do not have at this time. Uh, we know that it was an argument between the two that led up, but uh, what exactly transpired prior to the shots being fired is uh, still things that we're trying to get answers to. Trump is again insisting that he can win the state of New York, a Democratic stronghold, as he held a rally in Uniondale on New York's Long Island. He ripped into Democratic leadership in New York City in the state, blaming them for homeless people living in what he called horrible, disgusting, dangerous, filthy encampments. What the hell do you have to lose, he said in asking for their votes. Trump lost New York to Democrat Joe Biden by more than 20 points in 2020. Trump also said he plans in the next two weeks to visit Springfield, Ohio, that's been the center of false accusations from the former president and his running mate, J.D. Vance, that members of the city's Haitian community are abducting and eating cats and dogs. Trump also said he plans to visit Aurora, Colorado, where he says a Venezuelan street gang with a small presence in the city has taken over a rundown apartment complex. Aurora police say that's not the case. to be back in the state I love with thousands of proud patriotic New Yorkers who are really the heart and soul of America. We know that. And the reason I'm here is because it hasn't been done in many decades. It hasn't been done for a long time, but we are going to win New York. But look at what has happened to New York and the other states, all run by radical left Democrats, every single one of them. Our heavy industries have exported overseas and our middle class has been eviscerated, right here at home, been eviscerated. Housing costs are out of control. Inflation has cost a typical family $28,000. Think of it, in less than four years, $28,000. And we filthy encampments. We have horrible, disgusting, dangerous, filthy encampments. What those veterans, when they watch this, 
must be saying, but listen to this. Can you also imagine what the migrants must be thinking? They're saying, can you believe this? We just came from a place, in many cases, they were in prisons. And now they're living in hotel suites while our veterans are living on the street. And so I say to the people of New York, with crime at record levels, with terrorists and criminals pouring in, and with inflation eating your hearts out, vote for Donald Trump. What the hell do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? How about in Springfield, Ohio? They had 32,000. This is a little beautiful town. No crime, no problem. 32,000 illegal immigrants come into the town, 32. So they almost doubled their population in a period of a few weeks. Can you believe it? And you know what? They've got to get much tougher. I'm going to go there in the next two weeks. I'm going to Springfield and I'm going to Aurora. You may never see me again, but that's okay. Got to do what I got to do.